About uh, three months ago, I did a video about how to do a leak down test on a two-stroke engine. And uh, part of the procedure for that test is to position the piston at bottom dead center or at the lowest point in its travel. And uh, the other day, someone asked, how are you able to pressurize the crankcase and the uh, cylinder uh, through the intake port when the piston is covering up the, uh, the intake port when it's at bottom dead center? So I thought I'd do this video and uh, answer that question. This is a uh, Hadaka two-stroke engine and uh, this is my intake port. Um, I've taken the piston and I put it at bottom dead center. I'm going to zoom in here so you get a better view. And you can see uh, when the piston is at bottom dead center it is in fact covering up the uh, intake port. Um, the question was how are you able to pressurize the crankcase and cylinder through the intake port when the uh, piston is covering up the port when it's at bottom dead center? And the answer to that question is the piston does not create an airtight seal between the piston and the cylinder. So any pressure, pressure I create in the intake port is just going to go right past the piston and into the engine. Um, it's true that the uh, piston does act like a valve um, covering up the intake um, exhaust and transfer ports at the right time so the engine runs correctly. But um, the piston does not create an airtight seal between itself and the uh, cylinder. So now I'm going to prove that the uh, piston doesn't uh, interfere with the uh, leak down test. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to leave the piston at bottom dead center. I'm going to remove the spark plug. I'm going to reattach the intake manifold and set up my uh, uh, pressure pump and gauge on the intake. And I'm going to pressurize the intake. If the piston does create a seal, um, I'm going to get a pressure reading on my gauge. But if it doesn't, the pressure that I create is just going to go right past the piston and make its way up through the uh, spark plug hole. So when I get all that set up, I will be back. Alright, so I've got my uh, intake uh, manifold reconnected. I've got my test connect, uh, equipment reconnected. Here's my gauge. Here's my pump. And you can see um, when I pump pressure in through the intake port, it just goes right past the piston and out through the spark plug hole. Just to show you that it is going out through the spark plug hole, I will plug it the best I can with my finger and uh, build up some pressure here. You can see it's building up. So that just shows that um, the piston does not interfere, even though it's covering the intake port, it doesn't interfere with this leak down test. So um, the piston rings are another story, but um, the piston itself does not create an airtight seal with the uh, cylinder. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.